Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. <laughs> walking away just came out so yeah you're walking away it's required that you or somebody walk away or that you renounce your your ties to these groups these friends these families and even these past like contractual agreements that you have some of you guys if you don't if you're not familiar with it but it's very um popular especially like with people who practice like voodoo or in the african culture or even like caribbean what they call spiritual spouses where you've been married to someone perhaps in their spirit and this person they could be a incubus succubus jezebel type of spirit a marine spirit things like that sometimes you're in covenant you you're in some kind of covenant pact or agreement with this this person who could actually be for some people some type of entity it's almost impossible for you now to go into holy matrimony with an actual lover because spiritually you are being seen as married some people a lot of divine beings keep saying well why aren't i married it's not because oh god wants you to suffer in the spirit you are being seen as married you you're married in the spirit to something that is probably of a much lower frequency and vibration it could even be something demonic or some type of entity and they're very, very jealous. They do not want to let you go. So every single time you go to get into a relationship or connection with somebody else, here in the actual 3D that you can live abundantly with, your life is being attacked. This is why I've been saying too, be very careful of who and what you listen to. Some, even in tarot, some people will tell you, you need to keep waiting on this person to come back. And I'm not saying that a person can't come back that you can have a relationship with, but be very careful of who you're letting into your life, especially who you allow to return. Because some of these people are housing entities that are connected to those lower energies that you were once connected to in a past life when you were sworn into or born into something that has cursed you to a life of suffering. Just be mindful. Because I have a reading and I have not uploaded it just yet. But some of you have a person from your past. Let me tell you, this person in a past life and in, in this current lifetime, this person has done so much stuff behind the scenes to ruin and sabotage your life. And they are coming back because they're trying with all of the trickery, all of the hoodoo voodoo, the spell work, black magic that they can do to get you to join into this covenant, this contract, this pact or agreement or to make this vow with them once again. You guys be careful of who you're eating with, drinking with, sleeping with. These people have hidden agendas and they're coming to you with all of this mirror magic, spell work, heavy, heavy black magic and spell work to the point that while you're doing basic things, you don't even realize that these people are trying to trap you into some type of agreement. They're coming into your dreams. You guys need to look up spiritual spouses because I see a lot of times in tarot when people talk about twin flames, they're really picking up on the energy of these spiritual spouses who are here to literally rob, steal, kill, and destroy and make sure that you are never in an actual partnership with anybody. So you're going to have to be discerning for yourself to know and understand what you're picking up on and what you're actually inviting into your life. Because there is something here in order for you to have victory and blossoming abundance. You're being forced to walk away from something here. Something could be significant about March 27th and March 28th. The world. So now we have 27, 28, and then 29 here. So this right here shows that something. There, here's the number three. 27, 28, 29, and three. Some of you need to do an Esther fast, a three-day Esther fast. You've been tested, tried, and, and, and to be found is true. You need to break something here. I have a reading where I was literally reading about Esther on that reading. You can look it up on my channel. If I remember, I'll try and pin it or post it. But some of you, 27, 28, 29, before you go out, before you enter the month of March, you need to cleanse and clear you may need to consider doing some type of fast, but you need to renounce yourself from some type of contractual agreement that has been made that has most likely tied you into a commitment or a partnership with a group, a family, 
a friend and for some of you even a spouse that is actually holding you back it may be good for the 27th the 28th and the 29th of this month could be significant but you need to do this before you go into march the lunar new year is coming up where there's going to be a lot of blossoming abundance for you here in 2023 um, and before you go into this, you in order to have this breakthrough, you're going to have to actually pray and fast and get yourself out of something. You guys need to do some serious cleanup work. Let go. Like I said, the sentimental feelings about stuff, you're going to have to let that go. And you're going to have to see people for who and what they truly are. It doesn't matter if it's your friend, your family member, your lover. If they carry a low vibrational demonic spirit, you're going to have to walk away. Being stuck in indecision is not going to work for you. You're going to have to decide that you want this type of abundance for your life. And that comes with a sacrifice. Yeah, the garden and the gate. A lot of you, you have victory, success, rewards, recognition, love, partnership. You have a lot of great things staring right at you, but you're not looking back at it. Or you're staring at it, but you're still being stuck in this indecisive type of energy here. Now we have 27, 28, 29, and 30. Something here is lining up perfectly for you. By the by, uh, March 8th. 37, 30. Look at this. 37, 38, and 39. That's crazy. And then here you have card number 20. This is this entity, Envy. This is this entity, this group, this organization um, that is constantly like tracking you, hacking, monitoring. So uh, like I said, a lot of things we see it here in the 3D, but it's, it's to show you what's happening in the spirit room. A lot of you don't realize that now that the veil is gone, what you're looking at in your reality is you, you're actually in the spirit realm. But you're not discerning and able to decipher that you're you're shape shifting energetically from 3D to 5D, uh, probably all throughout the day. It's not only happening in your dreams. There's certain things that you're entering into, sometimes joining a certain company, taking a certain job, choosing to be friends with a person in a relationship or to sleep with a person, whatever. It's connecting you to things that is inviting these energies and entities in that are attacking you because they're feeding off of you but you have here envy with man holding a coin door to value and the healer of ages and then here you have hostilities and look at this attachment and then the sixth chakra and the first chakra so let me tell you this is exactly what i'm saying a lot of you here you're staring at a new life and for some even a partnership do you see the spiritual awakening that's happening here? You have the third chakra, the fourth chakra, the fifth chakra. And then here you have the sixth chakra and the first chakra. All of your chakras are on fire. And these people here, this entity, for many of you, this friend, family member, or lover from a past life that's showing up energetically here in this lifetime, this entity for many of you is being housed by someone that's in your life now this energy this entity for many of you is extremely envious because you have this man holding a coin door to value second chakra you have somebody that's coming into your life who is a, a divine counterpart could be a man or a woman okay this person is a healer of the ages they could be for sure an earth angel some type of galactic being take it however it resonates whatever title you may want to give to them but you have so much envy you're fighting this war right now because of this cornucopia the cornucopia and the sun and the door to spirit oh my god yin and yang here but look, strategy is in the reverse. The plans of the enemy will backfire and continue to not be able to work against you if you come into the awareness. A lot of you are still lacking awareness. A lot of you are still giving situations and people the benefit of doubt. And the angel of here is the angel of balance and the angel of strength. There's a huge breakthrough coming through when it comes to a lot of people's love life, your partnership here. You're being appreciated for the path that you've decided to take in life, which is for you to choose love. So, yes, you will be rewarded with this man holding a heart. For many of you, this man holding a heart could be a man or a woman, but this this shadow of yours, this darkness, this covenant pact agreement that you have from a past life or a past lover, friend, family member, or whomever, it's constantly trying to work against you. There is somebody here that does not have good 
intentions for you that is working very hard to make sure that you're all tied up they want you to re remain tied up in this karmic contract so that you cannot actually have this happy family you have a man or a woman who's thinking about having this family with you to co-create but you're ha you're gonna have to get rid of this shadow aspect of yourself this this entity that's following you there's an entity that's following you due to the fact that you have been born into or sworn into some type of covenant or, or, or cult or clan or organization or something and this like I said you could have in a past life knowingly or unknowingly been a part of this does what I keep seeing energetically is for sure it's like you could have been sworn it's two people here it's a feminine and a masculine both of you left something very very dark and toxic behind to choose one another the closer that you get to this union the harder this spiritual warfare and these attacks are going to be until you choose to release yourself completely from anything from your past or anything from your past life that attaches you to the kingdom of darkness so it's like now, you know, it's nothing wrong with you and another person being very different, but you need to know as far as morals, values, their moral compass, where does that stand? Because there's, for one thing I hear people, a lot of times people say now, well, marriage is just like a business. That's true to some point and degree, but when it comes to what you and a person want, you have to make sure your morals and values line up. Every person wants to have financial security, stability, and independence. But how you are willing to get money, you need to make sure it's lined up with the way somebody else is willing to get money and that you're willing to accept everything that comes with it. A lot of you people are trying to get you in these contractual agreements where they are willing to give you things, but in return... It, for you to get whatever they're giving, you have to pretty much give them your soul. And they're trying to trick you into these contracts. Oh, you know, if we're together, then you'll never have to worry about anything. Yeah, but you will forever be the light one that's cleaning up all of their dirty work. Some of you don't know the intentions that are behind these people because they're wearing a mask. Some of these people are actually coming to you as, as demonic entities. That have been assigned to you from a past life to track you down in this lifetime. Message in a bottle. Your angels are trying to communicate with you. A lot of you are experiencing these upgrades and these this ascension now because of the chaos and conflict. I always tell you, nobody really gains wisdom without trauma and pain. You're learning how to protect yourself because you probably are learning now that all that glitters is not gold. You've had people around you who are putting you in these situations, the fork in the road, stalemate situations, who you're looking at as soulmates. They're causing stalemates because these people are housing entities these entities are here to collect something from you they're trying to bring you back to whatever you were sworn into or born into you're gonna have to really really work hard to move remove yourself from these groups and these friends and these family members the warnings are around you as above so below what you're seeing happening in your life right now is happening in the spirit too but it's dating back to a past life imagine here Something here you're needing to look closely at. It says here, no place like home. A lot of you have gotten very far away from home. And it's saying here, it's time for you to go to the sea, to your new life. Many of you are going to have to understand that you're going to have to leave your your job, your friends, your family, your parents, a lot of things that you think that you like or that you love for you to pursue what God truly has for you. Because what you're in pursuit of right now is your why and your why is your purpose. Your why is your purpose and your passion. Who or what are you doing this life for? I just heard, um, those of you who listen to like Sarah Jakes Roberts, I just heard her say, you have to be willing to turn your scars into seeds, to plant, let your scars plant seeds for God to water so that your children's children, children and generations to come, they don't have to go through the suffering. If you are that bloodline generational curse breaker, then you need to understand that there's a lot of things that have happened in your past life as well as just throughout your ancestry and your generations that if you do not want to continue living paying the karmic debts of that, you're going to have to free yourself from it. And I'm not just talking about physically, I mean spiritually. This is spiritual business that you are needing to tend to because cutting everybody off 
I know even for myself to go in Herman mode, there's nobody calling, nobody texting. So it's like you have to ask yourself, why am I constantly being attacked? It goes beyond here in the three. It goes back past lives. Ancestral things. It's much bigger than, than what you see on the surface. But for you to have peace, you're going to have to do it by the book. Like I said, a lot of people, you're like a runaway slave. To do this by the book, you have to get out of that contract. You're going to have to revisit the terms and the terms and the conditions said that you was locked in for life. For you to get out of this to have a new life, you're going to have to do it by the book. Meaning you have to go back and confront that. I've talked about that. You're going to have to go to hell, knock on the door and ask to speak to the devil himself and say, listen, I don't want to. I, I can't come down here with you anymore. I'm not in any type of contract, contractual agreements, partnerships, no, no oaths, no vows with anything associated with hell. I don't belong down here. I'm not coming back. You know, like don't send me any mail. I'm forwarding my address. You got to do it by the book, though. And spirit is saying it's time to go. You have to renounce yourself from whatever this contract is from a past life. This is very spiritual, you guys. Very Milk and honey, come to the edge. You're going to have to be confident. If you want that pot of gold and that rainbow, you're, you're going to have to know that something here was faded. There's no need for you to be mad or upset. A lot of you, well, I'm tired of fighting. Okay, well, now here I am. I'm trying to give you a message. Or you can connect with God, pray fast, or whatever you need to do. Something here was faded. This was faded to happen. You can't be mad at the journey and the process because you wouldn't have ever understood or known that the reason why you've had to fight this way was because of what happened in your past life or with your ancestors. You need to know this so that you can heal your bloodline, your family, create something better for your life and also be able to help other people. Your test trials and tribulations are there for your testimony and it is your testimony that will change and help other people. And this is what the enemy does not want you to do. What you are sent here to do, you know, it causes chaos and conflict and you feel like it's a never ending story. But God is saying, no, you're meant to co-create with me to bring justice and, of course, to actually exchange your gifts. You're supposed to be sharing your gifts with the world. Whatever it is, and to be fair, your justice is you will be happy. You will be blessed, but you can no longer be in between worlds. God says, clean this up. Clean it up. It's time to go, and everything happens for a reason, and there's a deep knowing here. If you get deep in thought and meditation and stop thinking about the past and focus on what's here and now and allow spirit to give you a leg up, you will go to Treasure Island and your Treasure Island. Look at this. For some of you, it's soulmates. For some of you, it's a twin flame. Soulmates, loyal heart, and Treasure Island. You are meant to have love, but the only way that you can get to love is if you get away from these friends and family who are trying to look within your soul to find a light that they do not have. This is because of the contract from a past life. Some of you have friends and family. They were all a part of some type of dark organization that you were either sworn into or born into in a past life. So maybe if you're a spiritual, you have a bunch of religious people around you and they're throwing all of this hatred at you. But their time is up. TikTok and look. Spirit is saying, this is not for you. This organization was not for you then. It's not for you now. But you're going to have to stand up for yourself. If you're around a bunch of people who are broken and superficial or whatever the case may be, why are you still trying to mend those people? Why are you still trying to fix them? You don't have to be the martyr. Fix the people who actually want to be fixed and healed and helped. These people, they, they just want to suck your energy so that they can continue doing what they're doing. You're going to have to be flexible. It's going to take time for you to build these blocks, but there's a change in the wind coming that's going to bring about a regeneration. So you may be feeling left out in the cold right now or rejected. This is the spirit saying it's time to take a breather here. Take a nap. But there is a serious action about to be taken for many of you, especially if you're divine feminine and you're waiting on a masculine to enter your life or re-enter your life. There's a higher power that's going to be bringing, look, a yin and yang together, a feminine and a masculine. Something here has been going around and around over and over. It's a never ending story. But spirit is saying here, this is like chop wood. Just keep doing what you're doing. But apply the information that you're receiving here. Get rid of these old contracts. 
come to the edge because there is an unfinished symphony here that's going to go the distance. But for you to go the distance with a particular person, or even in your life, if you're not interested in being with somebody, you first are going to have to tie up the loose ends of this unfinished symphony from a past life. You can't be a runaway slave out here without your freedom papers. You need your freedom papers. So when it's time for you to go and get your groceries and open up your business and have your kids or whatever, you, you need your papers. I feel like in a past life, you just got, got the heck out of Dodge. Like you just ran away and ran off into the sunset, possibly in love with somebody. Well, now in this lifetime, they're saying, I understand that you ran away from the karmic situation, but this time you need to get your freedom papers. You don't need to just be running around out here without your papers. <laughs> you know, it's for some of you, if you think about this in the 3D, it's like if even, um, Legal situations, you need to do something here by the book. You need to stop, stop going into relationships with people and, and they're, they're still legally married. No, get the divorce. Get the divorce and then you pursue the relationship. Don't, don't entertain the third party. Get the divorce and then get in the relationship. Move out with that person and then pursue somebody else. If you, you know, if, if you have bankruptcy or financial issues, get your, get your credit together and then you go out and you do stuff like it's just time for people to do stuff by the book. But spirit, you can no longer be a spiritual runaway slave. Because these people, they're trying to pull, they're hunting you down because they look at you like you're their property. They're hunting you down once again trying to bring you back because they have something that they want you to do. They want you to pretty much heal them, help them cover up their lies and their deceit. They want your energy to transmute all of their bad energy, but they, they're not going to offer you anything. You will be a slave to this matrix if you don't get out now. So you guys, like I said, I, I, I feel so bad that they're reading that I did that it, um, that, that reading literally had like an answer. I mean, I thought about uploading it, but literally it's only like 10 minutes of it, which some of the stuff I said in the reading, I just said now I repeat it, but everything happens for a reason. I'm not, that's another thing you guys don't do anything right now. Don't force anything. Just flow. If you have to force entry somewhere where access has been denied, it's not for, it's really not for you because the things that God has for us now, the doors are opening without any type of forced entry. These different demonic entities and energies, they're trying to force entry into your energy. Don't try to do the same thing. If something is not working, if you're feeling left out in the cold, rejected or whatever right now, it's probably for your own protection. This, I just thought, let me just pull a few of these evil eye cards. I really don't even want to focus on the evil eye stuff, you know, because everybody knows that they're being spiritually attacked. Like this is a serious warfare that we're going through right now because with the full moon in Leo, so many things are being exposed about the things that people have done for fame and fortune behind the scenes. And they're very angry at the light ones because they want you to reach to, to go in and protect them and get them out of their mess. And a lot of us are not doing that. Look at this. It says when shit hits the fan, this person will be ghost. Yeah. Some of you are going to find a lot of people. They're not going to be coming around you. Um, black tourmaline. Tourmaline, some people say. It helps to clear and repel negative energy from the body, the home, and work environment and assist the user in feeling more grounded and peaceful. So you may want to get you some black tourmaline energy vampire excessively demanding of your attention and emotional support. This is an attack, like I said, from a bunch of narcissists. <laughs> people who want to drain your energy. And these people, honestly, especially those of us who are highly sensitive empaths, what they want is for you to be a part of these groups, these families, these work environments and situations, because they want you, they want you to be the black tourmaline. They want you to sit there and absorb all of their bad energy so that you can transmute it and allow them to still be agents of the devil in their kingdom of darkness while you transmute all of their bad energy. That's the only reason why they want you around. They don't want you around because they love you, they care about you, or they adore you. I, I had to explain this to a friend of mine. If you find yourself sitting at a table with a bunch of people and everybody is eating while you're starving, stop being people's flunky. They're not putting you in a position to win because you're putting them in a position to win with your energy. 
See the situation for what it is. A lot of people don't realize because they're looking at status that you're not you're not of a low vibration. A lot of the some of the people who have the least amount of money are some of the most powerful, most wise people walking this earth. But if you find yourself in groups of people where everybody else around you is doing well and you're not, you need to assess and evaluate that situation. You could be these people's, you know, their protection. They're sucking your, they're using all of your, they're harvesting your energy for them to have blessings and abundance while you suffer. You are a prisoner. These people are keeping a lot of good people as slaves. Your narcissistic supply. That's it. Causing you to, to feel tired and fatigued. They secretly watch, keep tabs on your every move. Yeah. These people want to know everything about you. Because they are so afraid that you're going to get out of their reach, out of their grasp. Envious of the career and the money that you make. Business, right? For a lot of you, this is in the workplace or just somebody who has a serious problem with you making money. It says they can't stand your grind and your hustle. Causing you car problems, flat tires, engine shutdown, dead battery, broken mirrors, dents and scratches. So they're trying to affect these people that if you have a job, they don't want you to get to work. They want you to have every single inconvenience that you could possibly imagine. They want your money to suffer. They want you to have issues with your car. They want you to have health issues. It says here, unexplained body welts, bruises, and scratches. So this could be different things trying to attack you in your sleep. Listen, causing house issues, leaky roof, cracks, crack walls, heat, cold systems, electric wiring, plumbing, pipes bursting, broken windows, squeaky. So these people, they're sending all kinds of stuff. Look, annoying phone calls, texts. From unknown numbers. These people, they want to literally, they're coming to rob, steal, kill, and destroy. They're angry. And I told you guys a few weeks ago, I said the one of the biggest um, spiritual attacks is coming. And they're going to bring out the heaviest hitters. It says the person causing you negativity is an air sign. So this could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. It does not have to be in their sun sign. It could be anywhere in their chart. But it definitely could be heavily aspected, especially rising sign, north node, south node, anything. Beware of anyone new entering your life. Glamour magic. Someone here is a feminine hater. This could be a man here. This could be like a group of men who are part of like a group, a cult, an organization of men who are, you know, hating on divine feminines. People here are trying to cause a lot of illusions. Causing you to lose your appetite. Beware of anyone from the past wanting to enter back into your life. Yeah, and blocking your solar plexus. Causing you to feel lightheaded with severe headaches and migraines. Block sacral chakra, bl block solar plexus. Here's a solar plexus right here. A different deck. So that's your creativity, that's your willpower, that's you tapping into that life force energy, having that warrior spirit. Somebody wants you to be on your hands and knees begging and pleading, like I said, like a runaway slave. These people will beat you down and will drag you back to the big house only to still kill you. You're like, you mean nothing to these people. So stop entertaining them and get to the root of why they're even in your life. They're being, they're attaching to you in the 3D reality because of something that is attached to you spiritually. Always going against you by arguing their point, never considered of your point of view. And it says here, own worst enemy. It says you, you cause most of your problems or most of the bad things that happen to yourself. That card is kind of harsh, <laughs> but this is saying, stop giving people the benefit of doubt. Stop thinking that, oh, no, they wouldn't do that to me. Yeah, they are doing it to you. People are judging you for your family, your background, your culture. You have, so we have his, the person doing this is a water sign. Spreading rumors about you. So you have a water sign and an air sign out here or someone who has heavy water and air in their chart. Competition always trying to warm up you, causing you hot and cold body flesh. So a lot of, like I said, um, 
people trying to call sickness and illness, but for many people, you're fighting back. Your system is fighting this off, this spiritual attack, and it's causing you now to just have an ascension. Somebody here who is just, they're tricky. They're jealous of whatever kind of attention that you receive or anything. But this, this goes back to in your past life, let's say if you left some type of cult, clan, or organization, or you could have been married to somebody that was a part of something like this, or your family could have been a part of an organization, and maybe you didn't agree with it, and you left to live your life, they're angry with you, and they're like, well, how dare you? It's also because, like for myself or other readers or people who have platforms, when you're out and you're speaking about this, they're like, well, how dare you speak about the shameful things that we do in the dark? And you're carrying guilt and shame and feeling bad because at one point you were a part of it. Even if you didn't agree to it, you still were a, a part of it. You know, like sworn into it or born into it. I'm definitely not saying that you did something bad, but it's just, it's like being guilty by association. That's what the, It's like being guilty by association. You were associated with this group, this cult, this clan, organization, this family, these friends, this lover, this this spouse from a past life or whatever. You're guilty by association. So now, whatever their karmic debts are, are your karmic debts. That's why you need to be really careful of anyone new entering your life or from the past who carries a lot of karmic baggage. Because they're trying to get you to enter a contract with them where you will be there to transmute and fight off all of the things that they come to your doorstep with that's not your business. I see a lot of terrorists, oh, this person's coming back. Okay, well, now they're coming back with kids, legal issues, diseases, and all kinds of stuff. They're coming back because they want you to fix it. They want you to transmute the energy and heal them. No, a lot of these people, you need to take these devils off your prayer list and let them go through their karma and stop being the one that's going to sign up to take on their karma. It's not your karma. It's not fair. And too many people are allowing this darkness into their life without understanding that's not your karmic debt. Even the karmic debts of your ancestors, your foremothers, forefathers, your parents and grandparents, that's not your debt. You are a person of high honor. Walk in that path and knowing that you don't have to keep fighting everybody else's battles. Let them go through their karma. You have to go through yours. Family room. A lot of you, this has everything to do with your family. And there's about to be major changes in your family. Because you are chosen to be a person of high honor. Look at this. Great fortune, courtship. A lot of you gift. You have great things coming. And people are concerned about you becoming this privileged lady because you're about to go into a union with an official person. And that's just that. People have been watching, hacking, stalking, and spying. They already know. They cannot stop you. You've done a lot of work. Look at there. The lovers. And here's the community, the group, the organization, the entity, the friends, the family. Here's this matriarch of the family. Okay? Or the hoodoo voodoo lady that's at a distance somewhere that's doing, working super hard to make sure that you don't get on your pathway. But what did I say before? Get your freedom papers courthouse get your freedom papers get your divorce if you need if you're a person and you have issues with child support or anything put yourself on child support if you need to speaking to the man especially get the paperwork or whatever documentation whatever it is that you need for you to be able to live a peaceful and a free life so that these people will stop watching you hacking you stalking you and trying to act as if you are their property you are not anybody's property you are god's child and you need to just clean up house right now because spiritually that's what this is this is people trying to keep you bound and stuck black for some people they're blackmailing you there's a lot of people who are being blackmailed people are even blackmailing spirituals like oh they're mad because you have a certain gift and you can see things so they think that if they threaten you it's going to stop you from talking no you cannot stop a person from being in their divine purpose for using their divine gifts. You are the golden child. Never never forget that. And people want to just constantly, they want you in poverty. These elders, a lot of them, they're concerned now about what you do for work. They're up thinking about how can they steal from you, hoping that it'll bring them some type of sudden wealth. A lot of these people, they want to be wealthy because they're in despair. 
They can't get anything now because you've already uh, removed some of your energy, but the contract is still there. So it's just like a slave. You're not there on the plantation to, to, to chop the crops anymore, but you're still their property. They still feel like they have ownership over you. Until you can produce freedom papers, they still own you. You need to be free and clear. You need to ask God to make, you, make sure that you are sovereign and free to renounce any contracts that you have to any kingdoms of darkness that you may have been born into or sworn into knowingly or unknowingly. But this magician here that's been behind all of this, they're off. This magician, you see here, it's like off with their head. Whatever they thought they were doing, midway, just like how this card is split in half, midway, they have been detached from all of their resources and their tools that they were using to do this work against you. So something here has already worked in your favor, but you need to do the remainder of the work of you cleansing, clearing, cutting, or whatever that you need to do. Remember I mentioned about the 27th through the 29th. This is something that you got. It's, it's something here serious about you doing this before March. Clean your house. Do a detox. Cleanse your body. Clean out your phone. Clean out your laptop. Get rid of some of your friends and your family. Like, just let it all go. Because it's pissing me off. I mean, it is because it's just unfair because I see what people are doing. They're really trying hard to put their karma on you. It's like some people in your life, if you're choosing even not to deal with them, they're like, well, since you won't deal with me, I tell you what, since you won't come back to me, I'm just going to make your life a living hell. And I'm also going to pin all of my karma to you as well. So some of you guys will even notice that you're going through situations and it looks a lot like past situations or it's the same situation that your friends, family members or lovers have gone through. That's because these people, they are working on you energetically somehow and spiritually. They're trying to get you to absorb all of their bad karma and energy because they know you have the strength to hold it. These people are weak. They're cowards. They, they're hiding behind things and they've been tiptoeing and, and run I tell y'all they like using cheat codes and trying to use a buddy pass to work or walk around the spear rim and, and be protected by you you need to bring take your buddy pass back they can't they can't get a free pass to 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 the the pearl and gates that you're going through if they belong in hell they need to go to hell and stay there because when you told them how to get out they didn't want to leave they was having fun so let them stay down there and have fun. Confirmation. Yeah, this is like final warning. This is the final straw. I have my um shaman healing cards here. Pull a few of these and then I'm really going to be done. I hope that this really helps somebody. Let me know how this resonates in the comments. Self-love is here. Card number 41. Feminine energy. Yeah, you guys are really going to have to heal yourselves too. And there is some kind of perception here. You could be, some people are angry because of something that has happened also with a feminine energy. Um, for some of you, a lot of this stuff is because of a feminine energy who could be in your bloodline or in your ancestry or something like that. Um, that has somehow gotten you caught up in a situation. If it's not you, this could be a feminine energy that um, um, like a male counterpart, a masculine um, counterpart of yours is dealing with. It's like if there's a, a energy here of a feminine who... I feel like didn't really love themselves. This, you know what this is giving me right now? This is like separate. Some of you have been pretty much like, some of you in your bloodline, if it's not you, it's someone that you're connected to. They could have had a feminine, a very distorted feminine because the karmic energy keeps coming up. A very distorted feminine energy who lacked a lot of self-love, that person could have started working with diff with lower level energies entities that could have even gotten into spell work or something like that and they could have somehow hexed or cursed like your entire bloodline and that's where a lot of this suffering is coming from and here is anger somebody here was very angry because of a lack of self-love and they could have started doing rituals sacrifices and other stuff this could have been in a past life or in ancient like times deep deep somewhere in your past life or akashic records where this could have happened 
But for some of you, it could have just been a few generations ago. And somebody's perception of yin and yang energy of feminine and masculine energy is very much off because of their lack of self-love. And something that they could have done in the darkness, it could have gotten you sworn into some type of covenant or contract of something dark that you were never supposed to be. And so, like I said, this is carrying debt from foremothers and forefathers that have nothing to do with you. And here we have it. It's time for you to let go and go on your own inner journey. And here is the masculine energy. So we have feminine and masculine energy. This is two counterparts who must leave the nest for them to have a new beginning. You're going to have to leave your family, your friends, these groups, these organizations or whatever in order for you to have changes in your life that will actually turn into having real peace, happiness and joy. Because somebody has somebody in their family. And I feel like obviously you're talking about like counterparts being a twin. So you two have very similar experiences. 